right so we are on to our last method that is delete so in delete what we want to do is we want to delete one of these products from the list let's say the second one here the TV okay so what we want to do eventually is have the delete method called against a particular product ID in this case let's say 2 and when we click send we want this second product to be deleted from the list of course when we send this response we want us we want to get this response back uh, sort of a confirmation that okay this is the product that has been deleted and then when you go back to the get method against products you should see a list of products that doesn't have TV okay so let, that's what we want to do so let's get back to the VS code and let's see how we can do it well uh, in terms of logic get and delete handler kind of have the same they are kind of the same okay so I'm going to copy this over and I'm going to implement it here all right so instead of get I'm going to call it delete all right and uh, so the logic is the same I'm going to first check if the product that I want to delete exists first of all because you can't delete something that doesn't exist okay so I'm gonna look through the product slice I'm gonna look through the map of a particular product the key value map and then if the product is equal to the PID is equal to the key of the iterator then the product is equal to P if the product is nil then I'm going to return product not found and that you all know that right but we I'm just going to make one small change here because I need the index of the product that we want to delete okay so when I'm looping through the product slice I'm also going to you make use of this index and for that I'm gonna declare a variable called index and this index will take the value of i because at this point we know that the product exists so the product exists at this particular index and we want to delete it from that index okay so now when we get to this point we know that the product exists we also have its index and now we just have to delete it from uh, the products slice right if only it had a method like splice just like in JavaScript but this is Golang and it doesn't have it so we're gonna have to write our own splice method which is not big deal okay so I'm just gonna call it splice in fact and it's gonna be a function that's gonna accept in our case a slice and our slice is a map it, it, it's a slice of map okay which has uh, integer as the key in fact and if I can only type it right Jesus okay and the second one is index and eventually in return we also want to get the shortened or the spliced slice in return right so the return type is also going to be a slice of map and what we want to return and let, uh, let me explain this to you a bit later let me just first write the code here so what we want to do is we want to append uh, index to this and and this is going to be uh, sorry okay and you get a slice back and you assign it to the products in fact so I'm going to call because this variable is a function I'm going to call it with my product slice and I'm going to give it the index and I get my products from which this particular index element has been removed okay and eventually I get back to the user which status code okay and the product that has just been deleted so let's get back to ah, it's failing so I think there's something 
wrong at 77. Oh yeah, so I just need uh, the index and this is going to be int. Okay, it's all good. Uh, so we get back to this page and now when I do this, well, I get the ID to be deleted back, which is good. Now let's get back to the get method against products. And when I do this, hmm, well, there seems to be something wrong. I think I know what it is. So, yeah, let me do this. And uh, again, starting over, we've got a list of products. We're going to delete product ID 2. We get it back. We come to get. We hit it against products. And the TV has been deleted from the list of products, right? So that's what we are doing here. Now let me explain what this method is doing here. So we, we don't have like a ready to use of the shell splice methods. We have to write our own. What this is doing is in fact, so let's say you have a slice that has this many elements. Okay, and you want to element, you, you want to remove three here from the element. Okay, so what you in fact are doing here is you are dividing it up so uh, you know the index of this uh, digit 3 so anything before it you're going to make a slice of it okay and anything after it you're going to make a slice of it too okay and, and you're going to join it okay and what you get eventually is 1 2 4 5 6 now this is kind of an uh, idiomatic way in Go to write this kind of stuff. Although I would have to say that it is also inefficient sometimes and I think there could be other ways to do it as well. But uh, usually I go with this approach and it doesn't bug me that much. So it's alright. And uh, so yeah, that's exactly what it is doing. So we have our get endpoint ready as well. And I think I'm going to delete this part. And uh, from uh, next session onwards, now we will get on to some advanced features like middleware and we'll also start structuring our code. And so we've got a lot to lot on the plate now to cover. But the good thing is that we've got all the four major methods here. And just keep in mind that we were dealing with the products slice in memory. Okay. Uh, eventually all these operations have to be done against a database, but we are pacing ourselves. So we will get there eventually. Okay. So thank you very much indeed.